How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culpa Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must be done without my soldiers' knowledge. The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale, to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again. get off to. First, he got the sickness. Arnold sent him home. Not when I heard. I heard his prophet disappeared. Wherever he went, his replacement is something more quiet, fellow. Keeps to himself. Not like Travis was. Always up for a laugh. I know what you mean. It feels like the new chap is gonna strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> Come off it. What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. Good. Heard Washington sent you to help. I got some things that need doing. Lord knows this fort is a right mess. If you got the time, see to this list, and it'll go a long way towards getting this place shipshape again. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss.
Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You haven't a lot. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate, I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. All right, all right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done, capturing a traitor. But I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed. circumstances you same but we're close so very close we need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious years
Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be... unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. sees us, kill them. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre. Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. 
But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you passed. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. Connor, finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I am a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! The main! Stand tall, men! We're holding! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I...
<laughs> we did it! Well done! Connor. Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure. Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? The Patriot heroes are betraying us. You reap what you sow.